mass flow gun, numerical analysis, numerical solution of ODE, ODE means ordinary differential equation, fourth order RK method, fourth second order ODE, YouTube channel mass flow gun provide you easy mathematics techniques, WhatsApp number email address. My name is Saeed Ahmed Shah, I am professor in Quest. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Runcutta method, fourth order. D two y over d x two is equal to f of x comma y comma d y over d x. It is a second order differential equation. Comma y of x naught is equal to y naught comma d y over d x at particular point x is equal to x naught is equal to y one. These are initial conditions. The differential equation with initial condition. This is called the initial value problem. In the small length of the interval x between a and b. Solution by fourth order R K method. For z is equal to d y by d x, then differentiate it. d z by d x is equal to d two y over d x two. First equation comes from the substitution. d y by d x is equal to z. Then second equation when we are putting in place of d two y over d x two is d z by d x. Or in place of d y by d x we are putting z. So we can write d z by d x. Is equal to f of x comma y comma z. Y of x naught is equal to y naught. In place of dy by dx, we are putting z to at particular point x naught. Z of x naught is equal to y one. Or we are saying say y one say z naught. So here we have initial point x naught, y naught, z naught. The second order differential equation. Convert by substitution into two first order differential equation. x n plus one is equal to x n plus delta x. How can we get the next uh, value along x-axis? Y n plus one is equal to y n plus uh, delta y. This is the uh, next value of y on y-axis. Z n plus one is equal to z n plus uh, delta x. Z the value of z next value of the z on z axis. Delta x is equal to h. This is a step size. Delta y is equal to one by six k one plus twice of k two plus k three plus k four. Delta z is equal to one by six l one plus twice of l two plus l three plus l four. K one is equal to h times of z. L one is equal to h times of f of x n comma y n comma z n. K two is equal to h times of z n plus l one by two. L2 is equal to h times of f of x n plus h by 2, y n plus k1 by 2, z n plus l1 by 2. <coughs> k3 is equal to h times of z n plus l2 by 2. L3 is equal to h times of f of x n plus h by 2, y n plus k2 by 2, z n plus l2 by 2. K4 is equal to h times of z n plus l3. L4 is equal to h times of f of x n plus h. Comma y n plus k three comma z n plus l three. Question: Use R K method. Solve d two y over d x two is equal to x d y over d x whole square minus y square. This is second order non-linear differential equation. Y of zero is equal to one d y over d x at particular point x is equal to zero is equal to zero. These are initial conditions. The differential equation with initial conditions is called the initial value problem. X between the small length of the interval zero to zero point one. Solution for z is equal to d y by d x. Then differentiate it. D z by d x is equal to d two y over d x two. Substituting here. The first equation comes from the substitution. D y by d x is equal to z. In place of d two y over d x two, we are putting d z by d x x, which is the same. In place of d y over d x, we are putting z z square minus y square. Y of zero is equal to one. Placing d y over d x is z z of zero is equal to zero. Here the function f of x comma y is equal to x z square minus y square. We placing x y x n y by y n z y z n. So we have a result x n z n square minus y n square. 
xn plus uh, 1 is equal to xn plus delta x yn plus 1 is equal to yn plus delta y zn plus 1 is equal to zn plus delta z delta x is equal to h delta y is equal to 1 by 6 k1 plus twice for k2 plus k3 plus k4 delta z is equal to 1 by 6 k l1 plus twice of l2 plus l3 plus l4 form the table number of rotation and k1 l1 k2 l2 k3 l3 k4 l4 delta x delta y delta z xn plus 1 and yn plus 1 zn plus 1 for the zero situation there is no value of k1 l1 k2 l2 k3 k l3 k4 l4 delta x delta y delta z this point comes from the initial condition 0 1 0 substituting in place of zn is 0 in place of xn is 0 so in place of yn is 1 when we are putting this point in k1 l1 k2 l2 k3 l3 k4 l4 for the first situation so we have these results or then substituting the values in formula k1 k2 k3 k4 l1 l2 l3 l4 then we have these results for the first situation Putting these values delta x 0 0.02 here, delta y minus 0 0.0020 here, putting minus 0 0.019999 here, then simplified we have a next point 0 0.020.9800 0 0.0 minus 0 0.019999. For the second equation, we are substituting in place of. Uh, z minus 0 0.0199 in place of x 0 0.02 in place of y 0 0.9980 when we are putting in place of that then minus 0 0.019999 here or we are putting in place of x n 0 0.02 in place of y n 0 0.9980 in k1 k l1 k2 here in l2 then simplify it so we have these results putting here the value of delta x delta or delta z then we get the next point for the second equation the same procedure is repeating when we are putting in place of zn minus 0 0.039981 in place of xn 0 0.04 in place of yn 0 0.9200 in k1 l1 k2 L2, K3, L3, K4, L4, simplify it, delta, or delta X, delta Y, delta Z. For the third equation, we have these results. Putting these values, delta X 0 0.06 here, minus 0 0.00, triple 9 here, or similarly, in place of delta Z minus 0 0.01, double 9, 4, 8 here, then simplify it, so we have a next point. Putting this point in all parameters, and solving for delta x, delta y, delta z for the fourth equation we have these results putting the value of delta x, delta y, delta z in the formula then we can get the next point similarly this point substituting in parameters or simplify for delta x, delta y, delta z so we have these results or putting the value of delta x 0 0.1 here minus 0 0.001795 in place of delta y minus 0 0.019825 in place of delta x after simplification we have a last point joining these points in a space so we can get the graphical solution so these are the points we are joining these points so we can get the graphical solution in the form of a continuous function and all the lectures.